Hello, I am Engineer Sadhpreet, and uh, this video is the second one of the video series about the usage of uh, STM32 on Simunic. So, the first video was uh, about how to install the support package for uh, STM32 F4 discovery board to be more precise uh, of a Simulink support package. And then uh, in this video, I will be going to show you that. Uh, how you can control the onboard LEDs uh, on the STM32 uh, using this Simulink. So, uh, starting this video, uh, so I am going to open my MATLAB. So, the MATLAB is opening, and uh, during that time, I want to tell you that uh, Simulink uh, can support uh, this STM32, and using that Simulink, we can control the four LEDs because uh, on the uh, STM32, we have total of 8 LEDs in which uh, 4 of them are controllable and they are connected to the pin numbers 12, 13, 14 and 15 respectively. And uh, you can uh, find uh, these pin numberings on the uh, its data sheet. Uh, you can also download the, its data sheet from the Google. So, now moving toward our uh, this uh, model. So, um, I am for uh, that uh, controlling the LEDs with the push buttons. I am not going to uh, make any of the uh, models by my own self. Uh, rather, I will be using the uh, already built in examples. So, click on the help here. So, um, I have already installed the support package for uh, ST micro, uh, micro electronics discovery boards. So, if you have not installed the uh, support package then uh, please uh, uh, just uh, look at uh, my previous video in which I am showing how to install the STM uh, support package. So, uh, the my support package is installed and now I am going to just uh, I have just opened the help section here and in the help section in the bottom if you scroll down then you can find the list of all the support packages that you have installed. I have installed the support package for ST microelectronics here and then I have some other support packages for uh, Raspberry Pi. So, uh, click on that. Now, uh, you can see the uh, details and descriptions that uh, uh, what are the features of the ST mic uh, STM uh, microelectronics discovery board and uh, how you can uh, use it with the uh, simulink uh, with the uh, rest of the features like you can do the processing in loop, uh, you can do the external uh, mode, uh, you can run it on the external mode. You can do digital system processing. Then we have ARM Cortex M pro uh, based processor core uh, in the STM32. Uh, so, I will go to here examples. So, uh, we have total of 7 examples. Uh, we have total of sorry 9 examples in which 7 are uh, of modeling and 2 are uh, used to verify the uh, these our models. So, maximizing it. So, uh, you can see here, you can just uh, uh, open any of these and for my this project uh, or this video, I am going to open this one, uh, push button and LEDs, but uh, still I am going to just tell you a bit about uh, the rest of the examples. Uh, you can just, uh, uh, you can see the title of uh, that example, getting started with embedded quarter support package for ST microelectronics and the rest of this thing. So, you can, uh, if you are new to STM32 microelectronics and uh, these uh, Simulink uh, support packages. So, uh, it is uh, it is very good uh, to just uh, read this first example and then move to the second example and then to the third example. So, the difficulty level will be increasing step by step and you will be able to just understand all of these things. Like uh, we have then audio, equali audio equalizer, voice activity detection and then uh, some of the uh, exchanging the Ethernet data. Then we have processor and loop and then the external modes. So, uh, it is uh, it is very good uh, if you will explore all of these. And for uh, this video, I am going to just open this one, push button and LEDs. So, you can uh, here see all the details, the introduction, the prerequisite, they are saying that you must uh, have completed this, uh, uh, this uh, little uh, description and examples. So, required hardware, uh, you must have ST microelectronics board which I do have here, then uh, type A to B mini USB cable, which I have here. 
and uh, the uh, this is the uh, model of that uh, push button and leds so in this model uh, we are controlling four leds three of them are controlled by the pulse generator and while the one of them is controlled by this uh, the button on board the stm32 so uh, because i have read all of uh, this uh, description so i am not going to read it again but uh, it is highly recommended that uh, you uh, read all of these descriptions uh, they have very good information and uh, just uh, to follow all these steps just like in this step he, uh, they are saying that uh, click on their uh, gear button which is the setting or in the, the matlab we, case we can say that configuration parameters so they are saying that to go here and click on the hardware implementation then uh, go in the gpio pins uh, then select this uh, these uh, parameters like uh, we have on pin 0 we want to uh, have a push pull mode and low speed and no pull up or no pull down then click uh, again then op uh, apply it and uh, save it then click again on the hardware and go to build option and uh, in the build option click on build load and run option so we will be doing that so uh, let me open the example here i am opening the example so uh, it will be it will get open in some time so here it is you can see that uh, they have already built a, a simulink model and we can directly use that model uh, because it was available in the examples and if you want to make some changes in that model you can do it them easily it's not a very difficult so let me tell you about uh, this uh, little model then we will run that model on the uh, stm32 discovery board and we will see that uh, how it is behaving so first of all we have a pulse generator here like you can see the details of uh, it that it have uh, time uh, number of samples 10 then we have uh, pulse width which is 5 so mean uh, 50% duty cycle then we have phase delay uh, which is 0 sampling time of 0.1 so uh, it is it taking a sample uh, a 10 samples per second or uh, in the, that 10 samples uh, we have 5% uh, we have 50% uh, samples that have that will turn the leds on and then the uh, turn the led on or we can simply say that the uh, led will be turned on for 0.5 second and then it will be turned off for 0.5 second and these all these parameters decide that when the led will turn on and when the led will turn off so uh, in order to understand it uh, well uh, you need to just change these parameters but uh, for this video i'm not going to change any of any this thing so then we have a convert block and these are the parameters i'm uh, not changing them as well then we have a pin number assigned uh, you can assign the pins so this is a pin number gpio gpio d general purpose input output and uh, the d number pins uh, on the pin number 12 here uh, we have uh, we uh, it, because these options were not selected initially so i am not going to just change them so and uh, you can see that the same signal is going to pin number 12 and pin number 13 and pin number 14 so these pins uh, which uh, will glow uh, or they will turn on and off uh, at the same time and uh, the last pin we have we are controlling it uh, via this uh, push button so this push button is uh, attached on gpio pin a uh, and the pin number 0 and we have sample time of 0.01 and you can also see that uh, the settings of the led pin here Uh, let me go to this uh, discrete step that uh, how uh, much is the sampling time of this model so we have a, so they have already selected this auto uh, auto is the best option so uh, the model is ready but uh, let me go to this uh, configuration parameter block in the hardware implementation uh, there uh, it will show you the uh, hardware board so it must be uh, stm32 f4 discovery board in my case if you have this board and if you have any other board like f746g or f769i discovery board then you need to select that one so i'm selecting it here then target hardware resources uh, in the build option we have already selected or it was already selected there to build load and run 
and in the pin number D, just on the pin number uh, pin number 12, the settings have already been done by the uh, in the as was in the example. So I will not change them. And uh, we as we are not uh, running this model on the external board, so we don't need to just change any of these things. So uh, our uh, whole parameters are uh, ready and uh, our model is ready. So now I need to connect my this uh, STM32 board to my PC. So I am connecting it here to using a USB cable. So now you can see that the uh, LEDs are blinking. So uh, no, uh, the LEDs are not blinking, but these power LEDs are uh, turned on. So it means that the power is coming uh, to this uh, STM32 board. Now I will uh, deploy my this uh, software or this model uh, on the STM32 board. And for that purpose, uh, you don't need to change any of these settings uh, or rather of uh, this uh, time uh, timer uh, simulation stop time. You don't need to change any of this setting. You just need to deploy that uh, to hardware. You can directly click that or you can just drop it down and uh, you can also use control B deploy it to hardware. So it has started deploying on the uh, hardware. Uh, you can also see the diagnostic that uh, what is the MATLAB doing at this time. So usually the MATLAB uh, will first uh, uh, make the C code or, and the hex files and bin files. Then uh, when they are uh, successfully generated, then it will just uh, deploy or uh, deploy that uh, uh, hex files and bin files directly into STM32 board. So uh, you can also see here that uh, build process completed successfully. And uh, I can also show you uh, that uh, these three LEDs, you can see uh, the orange one, the blue one and the yellow one, they are just blinking as we have set, uh, set it that in our uh, this uh, pulse generator and this uh, the another LED uh, is uh, controlled by this user button that is in the blue. So when I click that it will just turn on the red one. So let me now you can see it here that uh, three of my LEDs are uh, turning on and off automatically with the time period of uh, one second in which uh, half sec uh, on in half second they are uh, on and uh, in the next half second they are off and uh, my this uh, the fourth led or led 5 is controlled by this my push button so when i push it then it will turn on and when i release it it will just turn off so this is the way we can uh, control our uh, leds that are already on board uh, using the simulink and uh, we can also control the LEDs, uh, the, we can also connect the LEDs externally to the board uh, using the breadboard and some connecting wires. Uh, if we connect uh, any uh, connecting wire uh, to the LED, the LED uh, on the pin, uh, using the pin number uh, 12, then uh, it will turn on pin number 12, 13 or 14. Just like here, you can see that pin number 12, 13 and uh, 15, uh, they will turn on automatically just uh, like uh, the uh, they are showing on the STM32 board and uh, if we connect any uh, of LED on pin number 14 then it will uh, just turn on when uh, we will press the push button. So that was all uh, about uh, how to control the LEDs uh, using the Simulink and STM32 board and uh, in my next video I will be going to show you how you can generate the uh, analog signals or you can uh, control the brightness of uh, these LEDs. Uh, using the simulink so thanks for watching the video hope to see you in the next video thank you